All right, so you're thinking about replacing your water pump on your 2014 and up Durango, or 2011 and up Durango, I should say, because it sounds like this. So there's plenty of how-to videos out there. I just wanted to kind of make a quick tips and trick video. Not that there's any tricks. Um, but I bought a Gates one. Uh, the brand Gates. I bought it from Rock Auto. A couple things. First with the water pump. You need to plug that. It does come with the plug. Um, but they don't come plugged as far as the Gates one. Um, but put some Teflon tape because it will leak. That's why that little red speck is there because it did leak. Um second it does come with that sensor again you could put some teflon tape if you want to but it did have a gel on it but i didn't know that so we took it off and we put the teflon tape on all right um anything else i want to add there's a lot of bolts you got to take your time um if you want to drain you can start by draining the radiator the plug is on this side again i'm just trying to keep this short and sweet so the drain is on this side. You have to take probably both plastics off down there if you still have them. Um, get, you can probably do it with just one plastic off, but then you're gonna get coolant probably all over the plastic. But if you don't care, you don't care. Um, next, once you get all the coolant out, you can take this out. That out has your thermostat in it. So take these two bolts out, pull this off carefully. Boom, more fluid will come out. Um, from there, you probably could take the belt off. So right behind this hose here, there's a tensioner. On this and that tensioner, you'll get the serpentine belt off. All right, another thing that was a real pain in the butt was that bolt right there. Um, we put heat on it because we thought we were gonna snap it. So that was a real pain. We ended up using a 10 millimeter. That's like the closest thing to that size bolt. I wasn't sure if it was three eighths or what, but the 10 millimeter uh, felt pretty good. My buddy helped me do that. He's got a lot more experience with, you know, extracting bolts and things like that. He got it out without breaking it. So when you put that back on, don't, uh, don't he-man it on. Just put it on pretty snug. Um, that just goes right into that little pipe there, which I think it might be a heater core hose. Um, that's got an o-ring on it. So once you get that bolt out That will just pull away from it. You know, you got to pry it a little bit carefully, but that'll pull away and uh, You'll be able to get that out. So do that Unplug your sensor obviously Take this off. You're gonna have to take the lower radiator hose off which you can see right there Again, you're just prying it like this one. You only have to take the hose off on the water pump side unless you want to take them both off on both sides and flush them which i understand uh if you want to run a hose through it all i get it I understand or you can just run the hose right through the radiator cap when you do drain the fluid with uh pulling the plug at the bottom make sure you take this cap off okay um there's a lot of bolts take your time make sure you mark where the bolts came out of this is super important because so, some of the bolts are different lengths so the water pump bolts are different length so make sure you mark where those came out of um, I think that's it as far as advice and tips and trip tips and tricks. There's one bolt that's buried down the middle. That was like the hardest one to get. So you might end up doing that last. You might even be better off getting it from the bottom. Or but we did it mostly all from the top. So there's a sensor back here. You can just leave that plugged in. You don't need to touch that. Whether it's sensor, I don't think it's a sensor. It might just be like a some type of fuel injection. Uh, electrical wire so um other than that you can keep the fan in this connection kind of sucked mine's all rusty and ugly but yeah all right that's it like i said there's so many how-to videos if you have any questions uh drop a comment water pump is out There's the battery trash tk's tower is working above the engine today new gates on no idea where the serpentine goes but we'll figure it out all right she made it home safe looks like there's a little leak there but it's only because i did not put teflon tape onto that little freeze plug so we had to go back and put teflon tape on that 
Um, other than that, she's looking pretty good. Um, it's super hot right now, so in the morning I'll check the coolant level. But I just drove it about 15 miles or so, and it was great. Temp stayed good, so everything's good. So we did a Gates 180 thermostat. We did a new serpentine belt. Um, and then a Gates uh, water pump. So hose was in pretty good shape. Um, everything was pretty much okay. So uh, 160,000 miles. We're going to continue to send it and keep this workhorse going. And I bought this car with... 108,000 miles this Durango and it now has 160,000 miles. That's the first time I had to do the water pump. So uh, 50,000 miles, almost 60,000 miles to last it. Uh, that's pretty good. It's the next morning, let's check the fluid. Now that it's cooled down. We'll add a little bit more and see where we're at. All right, she's all full. After she gets hot today and cools down, I'll recheck it just to make sure we're good. Um, I brought this back into uh, between the full and add line. Uh, I don't like to go too crazy on the overflow. I like to just keep it nice in the middle, and uh, it should be good.